guys. Hey. Rubber duck. Rubber duck. Uh, interestingly, there's some some stuff I did not know about the rubber duck. You know, whenever you we start can... anything with interesting, interesting I, I feel like it's going to be like a lie after that. I could just make stuff up. <laughs> so technically, the first big breakthrough that allowed a rubber duck to happen was when American chemist Charles Goodyear. Does Goodyear, does that yeah. make you think of anything? Tires? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. And what are tires made out of? Rubber. Yes. Uh-huh. So uh, he invented vulcanized rubber. So Vulcanized? Yeah, like this kind. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, the, it's rubber hardened via the process of heating with sulfur, making it pliable, moldable, and most importantly, waterproof, mm. at least in the case of rubber, rubber duck. So uh, they didn't invent vulcanized rubber in order to make rubber ducks, but okay. without that invention, we wouldn't we wouldn't have them today. Interesting. And nor would we have tires probably. Um, so the first actual ducks that were manufactured weren't like the ducks that like in this picture that we've known today. They were mm-hmm. solid, heavy, and they didn't even float. Oh. Uh, they were intended to be used as chew toys for babies and oh. dogs. Seriously. <laughs> Babies and dogs? Yeah, that's what the internet says. Hmm. Um, And so it wasn't until 1930 that the Rubber Ducks Association with Bath bath Time began to materialize. So there were two inventions that came out in this time. And I got a a patent here that looks interesting, right? This is a nightmare (laughs) ducky. This is a patent from Eleanor Shanahan of Maryland, 1931. Uh, it was designed. She designed an aquatic toy that could sit above or below the surface of the bath, and would emit juts of water from the mouth and other small holes. Why? Uh, well, in her wor- her own words, they would produce a fountain-like effect and enable the playing of pranks by one person on another by the squirting of a I fine stream of spray true. upon the face or other parts of a person. <laughs> <laughs> upon the face or other parts. I mean, oh, you're in a bath. Right. There's a lot of options. <laughs> uh, so that that's the first... I mean, honestly, that is what a rubber ducky does. It does spray water on the face and well, other parts of people. Can, and other parts of bodies, mm-hmm. I guess. Um, but to put it that way, it sounds... Strange? Uncomfortable. Yeah, baby! No! <laughs> <laughs> it sounds grody. Uh, so in that same grody decade... to the max. <laughs> to the max. In the same decade... So that was 1931, mm-hmm. okay? So what is that? That's that's an anniversary. Well, last year, twenty one. Is that nine? Ninety years. Okay. Yeah, last year. Hmm. Uh, okay, so nineteen thirty eight, the Walt Disney Company collaborated with a latex company. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> to create bath floater toys, of which the most popular pair were. Okay. What what would Disney? What what character? Would they use? Oh, um, Donald Duck. Mm-hmm. Yes. And Daisy. Yes. yes. However, I was like, what's her name? However, <laughs> it was Donald and Donna Duck. Oh. Back in the day. Little fun fact, Disney fans. Donna. Probably some of you may already know this, but Donna Duck was later renamed Daisy Duck. First appearing as Daisy in the film Mr. Duck Steps Out in 1940. Hmm. So, uh, that was one of the very first rubber duckies. Was Kate, Donald's. you Daisy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you caught, yeah, you got it before me. I'm sure. Interesting. Um, what is, what, I know. What is what Martha is saying? That's, I got a little distracted because I was like, "What's Martha?" If saying? you haven't read it, Moby Duck about how twenty eight thousand duckies were lost at sea and the people who found them is a fun read. Wow, wow. that sounds really interesting. Huh? Um, Moby Duck. That feels like that would just be a fun thing to do. Is just release twenty eight thousand. <laughs> rubber ducks into the we like well, we could do that in lake michigan sheboygan river does a, like one of those ducky fundraiser things. yeah they have like a race don't yes, they? yes and yep. they put mm-hmm. you know which i know a lot of communities do but that's kind of fun uh so here's the here's where rubber ducks hit the big time 1947 a sculptor called peter ganine or ganine mm-hmm. a couple ways you could do that filed a patent here we go right here does that look familiar? Ah, Patent for a duck toy that he created out of vinyl. Creepy. Vinyl. What? Painted bright yellow and including their famous squeaker, the ducks were reproduced in the thousands 
and sold across the world. Why so, am I not being able to picture vinyl? All I think of is like a record. Well, vinyl is a is a kind of plastic. So it's just so, a thick plastic. Yeah, it's like it's okay. uh, so it's not the pliable cheaper. like squeezy one. That it's you're probably of. exactly what you're thinking of a rubber. <laughs> So, vinyl. All right. Yeah, it wasn't a black record. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, like vinyl seats. Like okay. the vinyl is yeah, used for right. many all different right. things. All right. All right. So 1947. That's when the uh, the rubber ducky, as we know it, kind of came to being. And then, of okay. course, it took a whole new turn with our friend I Ernie. Nineteen. Called it Julie. Julie downtown. Julie Brown yeah. was like Ernie. 1970, uh, the song Rubber Ducky was featured on Sesame Street, sung by Ernie. And Brenda, a little bit earlier in the comments. Okay. Yeah, okay. she was singing it. We're on We're on uh, target here. The song, the, this, is, this is a little fun fact. The song made it to number 11 on the Billboard what? chart. Like the real chart? Yeah. What yeah. year was this? 1970. Wow. Would a kid song ever make it on um, the top 20? I mean, what well, it feels like be? Baby Shark should have been oh, on there somewhere, geez. right? Maybe. This ruined your night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking it, singing it oh. right now. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for that. I just think of Jamie Tartu. <laughs> Jamie Tartu. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, uh, L. L. Collects rubber ducks. I gave rubber ducks as an encouragement oh. for our fall, fall of the reader session last year. That's oh, that's awesome. cool. Um. I love all the different themes of rubber ducks. For some reason, with all the Funko Pop collecting in this house, we haven't gotten into that. But I, I, it's right up our alley. You mean like this? Oh. Because <laughs> that's the thing now. Now, as you've seen them. There's it, so much. The whimsy. The iconic yellow and orange design. Now they have all kinds of variants. That's so Every much color fun. imaginable I've seen. Yes. Uh, Trump, Obama. Ducks. Which is disturbing. Uh, all of that different, is very disturbing. <laughs> different faces. Oh, but in the Chipmunk song. Christmas mm. song. I think. Yeah, I'd oh, see that probably. Yeah, right in there. okay, for kids' songs. Some of these was top. big for that. So, any yeah, thoughts on the rubber? Anything you learned here today, Kim? Um, I was surprised to find out that we do not currently own a rubber duck. At one point in our life, probably in the last 13 years, we had at least five in the house. And I think somewhere in all the crazy, like, let's sort through and get rid of kids' stuff. Those didn't make it. Oh, I kind of feel guilty that we didn't save one. We've got to have one somewhere, but the I kids were less we were than unmotivated at our request to find <laughs> one. So <laughs> our <laughs> urgent request a half hour yeah, ago, they battles, did not folks. care. They, yeah, they cares nothing about our urgent request. No. So we, <laughs> I feel, I feel like I've let you down. That we don't have a rubber duck. It's part of the reason I put this necklace on, on which person. I know some of you commented on. I was just trying to bring a little extra whimsy since we didn't have a duck. So I don't think they're going to get that message. <laughs> That's why I just explained it. Well, good thing. Uh, anywho, that is a little trip down uh, the, into the time machine for rubber ducks.